This lesson is going to demonstrate how to add your customized banner. We're just going to actually add a title, The Island of Guaca. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and let's go ahead and do a Google search. And I'm going to go ahead and do online image editor. And this is, this is great because there's so many free online image editors. You don't have to go out and buy fancy software. However, it's nice to have that fancy software, but we're going to go ahead and get something free online, and hopefully it won't be blocked in your district for your students. So we're going to go ahead and go to one of my favorites. It's called Pic Pixlr. I don't know how to pronounce that. And once this is loaded, I will go ahead and say Open Photo Editor. And when this window loads, we're going to say Create a New Image. And I'll go ahead and call this, maybe title is fine. And I'll set the dimensions to maybe 400 by 100. You can always change that. We want to choose transparent and say OK. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to click on the A in the Tools window. And I'm going to click down and type in my title, the island of Quaka. Okay. Now I'm going to want to change that font to something. You can scroll down and see your options. So it's kind of nice. I'll have to scroll over the, and see what your options are. Let me go ahead and move this up so you can see what's going on. I'll move this over until I find something that I like. There's quite a few choices here. So let's say I choose that one. And you can change the size here. You can change the color. So for now, I'm going to leave it black. I have a lot of black text on my page, but for now, I'm going to leave it black. If you wanted to change the font or the font size, you would come over to the Layers window, select the layer where the text is, and then you would click down, and it will highlight it for you to edit. So you can come in and change the size. Okay, so I'm going to go. I, I like size 30, that works for me. So I'm going to say OK. And what you want to do is you want to take the crop and you want to select, click down and drag to where you have a nice, tight selection of the text like this. Now, with that selected, hit the Enter key. Now, what you want to do is you want to save it. So I'm going to go File, Save. And when this window pops up, you really want to pay close attention how you save it. So make sure you choose the transparent option, which is a ping, P-N-G. You want that to be transparent. That's really important. Go ahead and say OK once you've done that. OK, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the folder that I created earlier for this unit. And it's called Google My Google Sites. And I'm going to put images done. And I'll say save. Now I'm ready to go ahead and go back to the site. And what I want to do is I want to go to um, more actions, manage site, and I'm going to go to the site layout. Here I'm going to say under the header I'm going to say change logo. So I'm going to browse for that image which I had, I happen to have on my desktop, and I called it My Google Sites as the folder, and I'm going to say Images Done where I put it, and I called it Title. So then I'll say OK. Let's go ahead and save changes and return to site so you can see what has happened. Notice it says the island of Guac, but now we have this title here, the one that the default title that came with Google Sites. So I'm going to go back into More Options, Manage Site, choose the General option, and I'm going to, under Site Name, I'm going to click off where it says Show Site Name at Top of Pages and get rid of that. Go ahead and Save Changes, and we'll return to Site, and you can see the Island of Guaca. Now if you wanted the Island of Guaca to be higher up, you would need to add a little um, padding at the bottom here. So let's see if we can do that. 
go to Image Canvas Size in, in that image editing program. And what you want to do is you want to push the height a little higher maybe. We were at 38, so maybe we'll want it to be, let's try adding 50. And let's see what happens. Notice it added some padding at the bottom. All right, so how I did that is I went to that layer where the text was. I went to Image, Canvas, Size. I went to the center, and I pushed the height down. So what it does is add adds some, some uh, distance to the bottom. So now I'll go ahead and File, Save. I'm going to save it as a ping. I'll call this Title 2. And I'll go ahead and save it in that same location. We'll go back. Go to Manage Site. Go to Site Layout. We're going to go to Site Layout and we're going to say um, Change Logo again. We're going to browse for that second title. And once it's loaded, we'll say OK, Save Changes, and Return to Site. And there it added a little distance. Those are some cool techniques that you might want to know for design purposes. So this concludes the section on how to add your own customized title. Till next time, have a great day.